G'day everybody. So in this video, we're going to be doing my long-term review of the Sherco 125. So in this video, I thought I'd tell you guys how the Sherco has been holding up with the eight months of hard riding that I've put in it. So the type of riding that I've done on the Sherco 125 has been uh, mostly, a lot of the time it's been hard enduro. We've also done a fair bit of motocross, enduro cross, and just simply trail riding. But just before we get into this review, I'm going to show you everything that I've done to the Sherco for my riding. So here's the Sherco. She's nice and clean right now. I'm actually thinking I'm about to sell it. So sell it, get something new. They've been riding this thing for probably eight months, months now. So time for something new. But so things that I've done to it are radiator braces. So I don't bust radiators in. A fan, keep those temperatures down. I put three arm guards on it, a rear rotor guard, just to keep everything uh, nice and safe from getting all scratched up and stuff. I've put a AXP racing bash plate on it with a linkage protection, because you're gonna wanna keep everything all nice and safe up under there. It's a necessity for hard enduro bash plate. Now I haven't put a front rotor guard on this actually. I was gonna do it, but I just never got around to it and never gave me any problems. I've got wraparound hand guards just to stop levers too. I run Renthal fat bars, so these are 821 bend. I've, I've never actually really ran aftermarket bars, I'm not too picky, but I really bent the other ones up, so I thought I'd try these and I've loved them. I've also put a funnel web air filter in here. Alright, and so for the tyres I run, this rear tyre is an 8081 Dunlop 8081. It's a it's a 110-100. I usually run a 110-90 or a 100 rear, but I um, mate was actually had a just near, near new one of these that he was selling, so I thought I'd grab that. And it's sucked a little bit of the power out of it, but it's not too bad. And then uh, for the front, right now, I have a star cross on it. I usually run the uh, MX33s, but I thought I'd try this last time, and it seems to be pretty good. It's pretty worn right now. So guys, this Sherco 125, it's actually been my first enduro bike. I have rode a few other enduro bikes, but yeah, this is, I've had a really good experience with this bike and I've really enjoyed it. Alrighty everyone, so now for the engine of this Sherco 125. So it's, it's a really good engine. Um, it's very, it's got a very linear power delivery, but it's not really linear. It's still got some good snap to it. There's just something about riding a 125 two stroke full throttle on the pipe, which brings a smile to your face. So it does a pretty good bottom end run for a 125 two stroke, but it's still not exactly the best. It's good for a 125, but no 125s are going to have a real good bottom end run. Right, so you got to ride this bike a lot different to a bigger ball bike. So you got to keep those revs up in the power zone. That's something I learned. But the good thing about riding a 125 two stroke is. You can ride a 125 two-stroke really well. You can basically ride any bike. So I can basically get on any bike that's reasonably new and ride it well. So with this bike, I run pretty much everything stock except for me protection parts. So everything like the engine, the suspension, the exhaust system, that's all stock. So I can adapt pretty good to a stock bike. It was these new bikes, they're so good stock. I don't, I haven't really needed to change much. All right, so now let's talk about suspension. So the suspension on this bike is bone stock. Um, I'm not too fussy with my suspensions. Um, so a few clicks with the Sherco suspension. It's a 2021 model KYB suspension. Uh, a few clicks and it's died for hard enduro. You can go, it's really good for hard enduro. That's what they're made for. And yeah, if you click and it's dialed for turn track, enduro cross, you can even do a bit of motocross on it. The clutch on this bike, uh, it's a really good clutch. It's got a really nice light pull. Uh, the Sherco's are known for having a bit of a harder pull, but uh, this 125, it's nice and light. But yeah, this clutch has been bulletproof. I've, uh, I've abused it in the hard enduro, gotten it real hot. Um, it just keeps going. Um, one thing I do notice about it, when you get the clutch really hot, it starts acting a little bit weird. But it's still really good, but it's 
points, you can notice it gets a little bit worse and the engagement point becomes a little bit smaller. But yeah, eight months of riding this bike and clutch is still going. It's just bulletproof. These, these new bikes, these new enduro bikes, clutch is bulletproof on them. Alright, so now let's talk about uh, reliability. So this bike has been really reliable. I've basically had two problems with it, with the eight months of that I've owned this bike. So one of the problems with this bike was the regulator plug, uh, it was a bit iffy and it kept losing connection. Rightio guys, so here's the regulator plug. So as I said, it had stopped, the connection would uh, be bad and every now and then it'd, the connection to the battery would stop and you'd stop getting charged. So then you'd have to unplug this and plug it back in and roll start it and then it'd be good again. But it was an ongoing problem so we just ended up putting, see there, two zip ties it tying it together nice and tight and we've never had a problem since all right so the other problem that we had it was it wasn't a bad problem so it had kept the bike kept uh bogging and dying and we just couldn't figure out what's going wrong wrong with it we just tried went through everything we thought okay so let's just double check the fuel so we drained all the fuel up put fresh fuel in that was just the problem it was must have just got a bad batch of fuel and then she was all good Alright, so now I'm going to talk about the few things that I think could be a little bit better on this bike. So, it's a really good bike. There's not many things. One thing is, uh, if they could get a little bit more top end out of this bike, that would just make it really good. Because it's still got good top end, but compared to other 125s, it does lack a little bit of the top end. But other than that, it's don't really have any other complaints about it. Don't think much else could be much better. It's a really good bike. And yeah, so the brakes, they're Brembo brakes front and rear. They're awesome brakes. They have nothing to complain about about them. Yeah, never ever think they're too weak. Nice and smooth. Yeah, they're really good brakes. All right, guys. So we're now we're just going to talk about how this bike runs. So I bought it from the deal I used. Uh, it was running pretty good, but it just didn't have much top end. It'd break off and didn't rev very good. So. We tried changing out a few jets and we ended up going two jets leaner in the in the main jet. And that just made the top end a lot better. I think these Shirkos run tend to run a little bit rich in the factory, so yeah, just lean the top end off a little bit, the main jet. And yeah, she screams now. Right everybody, so that's gonna wrap up the video today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, as I said, I'm selling this bike so probably got not going to be many more riding videos on it i might have a few unedited videos that i'm going to edit up and post still i know i at least got one but i might have posted that before this video yet but yeah so it's just going to be sad to see this thing go but you know we've, we've had a good good time on it had it for a fair while it's been a good bike but we're going to have bigger and better things coming soon so i hope you enjoyed this video guys make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure guys